Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is a Be Better Golf Fitness video. This is going to be a vlog entry into my Quest for 300 deadlifting uh, journey so, because uh, my coach thinks that if I have the ability and the strength within my body to, and not only the strength within my body, but also the knowledge of how to move my body so that I can deadlift 300 pounds in one rep, that'll make me a much better golfer. So let's see, my wife thinks I'm gonna get hurt doing this. So uh, first and foremost, I have to warm up properly. So that is like a 50 pound kettlebell that I did 10 reps of that. And then this is uh, just the warm up. So this is a bar, I think with 45s on each side. So that's 135. So I'm doing five of these. You can see I'm kind of extending a little bit, overextending a little bit too much. My hips are thrusting out past um, kind of like, imagine like my, the front of my hips is going up past my shoelaces. That's not good. You can see those are a, lot, a little bit better. I got corrected there. So the main thing I'm looking for here with these deadlifts is that my butt is going up at the same rate as the rest of me. I'm not going uh, in different pieces. Now, in between, David wanted me to do these steps over this, uh, these high steps over this bar just to keep my hips very mobile and open. Uh, like I've said in other vlogs, I have very good flexibility, so I, I want to uh, maintain that and uh, maybe even improve it. So here's Matt. Matt is a uh, Division I college golfer, soon to be. He's still in high school, but he has a uh, commitment to LMU. And he's uh, deadlifting 265 pounds here. He's very, very uh, good at deadlifting. I'm trying to get there. All right, so then I put my hands on my chest and I really work on getting my butt moving back and forward as I'm doing this. My form is a lot better than it used to be. Doing these, I used to really um, not move my butt back and forward at all. It was like I was in a barrel, so I'm a lot better. And uh, David's even, I mean, he's seen where, where I've come from, so he's uh, clapping at that. Uh, all right, same thing. So, so in between, I'm really trying to get my hips opened up, not, not just over it, but kind of do that open thing. Do that as slow as you can. We're going to be doing five reps, uh, heavy reps. So, we're, so there's a warm-up rep uh, uh, round, but after the warm-up, there's five heavy reps. So watch. So you can see I kind of overextended on that one. Now this is 185. I believe, yeah. And uh, if you have one of these hex bars to do your deadlifts, it's so much better than if you have a straight bar, but straight bar works too. Your form just has to be a lot better if you're doing the straight bar. All right, so that was two, I believe. So yes, I have my hands on my chest and I'm really working on getting my butt out and my chest down. And you can see it fell off balance there a little bit, but then it got pretty well in sync. This is not my greatest set right here. I think David saw that and wanted to sit, to sit by me because that was a little wobbly. I felt kind of weak on this set. Then moving on. All right, so let's get into it. And my hands on my chest and I really want to feel like my chest is going down and my hips are going backwards like that. See how I'm really trying to feel like it's going backwards before I grab the bar, try to level it out. And then I started to feel a little stronger. You can see that, uh, watch how my, the rate of my shoulders going up should be very equal to the rate of my hips going forward. It should feel like one piece. Just like in sinking your swing on Be Better Golf, here in Be Better Fitness, we want to sink it up. That was actually uh, 195 pounds. So that was a new record for me, which is great. So um, moving on, this is... Now, uh, we've gone past the deadlifts, and this is just the regular strength part of my workout. This is just a warm-up with 30 pounds, 10 times. Uh, 30 pounds each hand, 10 times, just the warm-up. And then uh, still the warm-up. So we're doing a kind of a, a push-pull series. So that was the pushing part, and then five chin-ups is the pulling part. I'm not great at chin-ups. Uh, but right now I weigh 168 pounds. So uh, I really like chin-ups though because 
they work on my forearm strength and my and my overall arm strength and they're also just hard to do all right so now that was the warm-up so now into the actual workout that's uh, 50 pounds each hand so 100 pounds total on these dumbbells david checked this out and thought i was going down way too far you can uh mess up your shoulder a little bit so that's he might have cut me short there a little bit because he didn't like my form. David is a great trainer. If you guys are ever in the Southern California area, uh, come over to Signal Hill. And uh, really, really a great coach for building power and speed in your golf swing or any other kind of athletic thing you're trying to do. All right, so push-pull. So now we're going into the, the chin-up part of this. Hands facing forward. I'm not great at these, but I'm trying to get better. So that was two, trying to do five total without trying not to jump into it too much or use my legs too much to do it. So that's four and one more. I'm going to try to <clears throat> start it off with a hang, a slight hang, and then go up. So the main thing is uh, not that you do it perfect or that you're super strong, but that you're trying to just get them done. Just be like a work, like a workman-like attitude. Uh, flexing in the mirror, I, th I don't know, Arnold Schwarzenegger talks about how that can actually make your, your muscles look better if you do a lot of flexing. It's just for looks, but looks count too. Alright, so then David was showing me not to go down too far that time. And uh, yeah, just wanted to get a little bit better form on that. Then moving on to the next set. Thanks for sticking with this, guys. I think uh, it's going to be valuable for you. Then going on to the next set, same thing. 50 pounds. Actually, uh, the, the first ones I did were 40, and I asked to go up. So, yeah, so now here's 100 pounds. See, not going down too far. Still a little too far, though. Really, just once the uh, elbows get level with your back there, you're done. And I want to throw, these are supposed to be five, but I want to throw a couple extra reps in there. I have good strength upper, upper body wise. Um, I just need a little bit more stability in my lower body is my main issue. Uh, so then I got the, the chin up assist bar, which really helps. And uh, it also makes it so that you can, you can do more reps. All right, so then moving on into a more golf specific thing. We don't do too much like stuff that looks like a, a golf swing, but David's demonstrating. He wants you to start low and then use, you feel like you're equally using, like it's really synced up. You're going to hear that phrase a lot on both channels. Really synced up between the, uh, the, the legs and the arms, driving that to the forward position. So I think I'll start first. It's uh, Matt and I at this workout. This is a, at a group workout that uh, anybody can join. And you guys, it's at a discounted rate because it's a, it's a group. So uh, go to... I think it's djperformance.net. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you guys at the class. Anyway, so so see how I'm, I'm using my arm, taking my arm to the middle and using my leg drive and my arm at the same time, real synced up. I don't really like exercises that have a lot of this. You know, a lot of golf coaches or golf strength trainers want you to get this like crazy separation and they're real hyped up on ideas of like X factor and and uh, all separation. Everything I'm doing in my golf swing and in my golf workouts is trying to sync it up, get everything working together as one unit, like uh, Henrik Stenson has said. Just get all, all the stuff working together, not getting one thing going while something else waits and all that stuff that's um, malarkey or whatever. That's, that's useless to me. I want everything working together. All pulling on one end of a rope, as Tommy Lasorda says. All right, so then David wanted me to do some of these without some of these hop skips, just kind of feeling the sequence of everything working together, kind of getting your brain active, and then it was my final turn to go. <clears throat> I probably could have used a little bit more weight on this so that it would be a, a little bit tougher to get into... This uh, felt really good in your core, really felt this um, with the glutes, which I think is, uh, is great because when, before I started working out, no matter what I did, 
I could not get my glutes to feel sore or to feel like they were cooperating or adding anything to the swing. So now that I've been doing more deadlifts and more golf workouts, my glutes actually feel like they're, they're helping. They're contributing something to this uh, athletic endeavor. And then just pushing it back into busi- position. Sleds are like the best thing to do for general fitness, I think. Just all out. 30 seconds as hard as you possibly can. Sled pushes are just amazing. All right, so then this is our finisher. So 10 times each side. David didn't like this one because he thought my hips and upper body were doing their own thing way too much. You can see kind of how they're snapping out. They, do, they don't really look like they're together. So then uh, after I did that one, I watched Matt, who uh, his swing is more in sync than mine, and also a lot of the workout things he does is more in sync than mine. So check out Matt here and see the difference. See, it looks like these compact um, karate punches almost. Ten aside, fast. So you can see how his, his leg drive, hips, shoulders, arms, it's all working together. So after that, after I'm a real visual learner, so I, I watched him and uh, watched it on the video, what he did, and I was able to improve my, my workout quite a bit, so check it out. You can see, not as good as Matt, but a world better than the first time that I did it. And I'm better at it, of course, righty than lefty. Here's lefty. You'll see a little bit more disjointed this way, but better than the first time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, If you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. Subscribe to this channel. Also, subscribe to Be Better Golf and uh, connect with me. My uh, information is below. Thanks. Bye.